Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am so excited to be swatching the brand new Sesame Street You Do Hue collection from China Glaze. I grew up watching Sesame Street. I absolutely loved it. I am so excited to watch this collection because it just is really nostalgic for me and brings back a lot of memories. So I think all these shades in this collection are super unique and really fun, sparkly, things that I've really never seen before, especially from China Glaze. So if you are interested in seeing all 12 shades, then just keep on watching. The first shade up is Living in the El Moment which I love that name because of Elmo. And this is a gorgeous red, almost jelly base shade with these amazing flecks of holographic glitter. This is such a gorgeous polish, especially with the 4th of July and all these patriotic holidays, as well as like you could even do this one for Christmas, but I really love red polish just for the summer in general. And the fact that this one has some gorgeous glitter in there is gonna make it perfect for summer because when the sun shines on your nails, that shim that glitter is just going to be absolutely gorgeous. So there's the first coat. I'm super impressed with the formula. So here is the second coat. And this one is completely opaque. And I love how it is a bit of a jelly base. So it's kind of like that jelly sandwich manicure where the second coat is going to kind of cover the holographic glitters of that first coat, giving them kind of like that pinky red tone to them and then the second coat on top is that was clear clearly holographic glitters which is just so gorgeous and seriously the formula on this one is so easy to work with it's not patchy at all it self levels beautifully so let's just take a minute and look at how gorgeous this shade is this next shade is called for real though and this is a neon pink jelly like polish Jelly polishes like this with your nail line showing are a huge trend in nail art right now. As well as jelly polishes can lead to a lot of fun nail art designs like jelly sandwich manicures and things like that, which I really love. And especially for the summer, this is such a really fun, bright jelly shade. I do believe I'll be able to get this one opaque, so we'll see what two or three coats does. But I'll just show you that first coat to really give you that cool, just like not natural look but you can really see your nail lines so it's just like a sheer polish so there's the first coat so here's the second coat of for real though for real though actually uh so you can see it does dry down a little bit dull so you will want a shiny top coat if you want this one shiny you can see that second coat really adds a lot of pigment which is very surprising i can still see my nail line a little bit so i may do a third just so you guys can see what it looks like but honestly if i were to do this one I would just do two coats because you really can't tell that your nail line is showing but if you are a little bit picky I'll show you three coats but I'm so surprised with how jelly like and sheer that first coat was it really packs a punch with this second coat. So just for you guys to see what it looks like here is the third coat of for real though and this one is pretty much completely opaque with those three coats. Like I said, it is supposed to be, I think, more of like a jelly-like polish, but you can build this one up to full opacity. And it just depends how picky you are. I would end at two coats, but three coats really does add a little bit more color and opacity. Now this is one of the polishes that I was most excited to swatch. This is Monster Piece and this is a pink jelly base holographic glitter polish. This is swatching beautifully. As you can see there's no streaks. It's applying very smooth and evenly and I think it's so gorgeous especially for summer when the sun's just going to hit your nails and make the holographic sparkle just go absolutely crazy. So there is the first coat. Here is the second coat of Monster Piece. This one does dry down dull as well, so you're definitely gonna want a shiny top coat to really bring out that holographic sparkle. Now this one seems to be covering completely in two coats, which is really awesome. You guys know I do thinner coats, so just keep that in mind but yeah two coats does make this one completely opaque true to that color 
in the bottle and I am so impressed with the formula on this one, how smooth it's going on. The glitter isn't really textured at all so it's super smooth and I am just obsessed with this one because I've never been the biggest fan of pink and this one is so pretty. This sheer jelly-like polish is called I Count Even. So this one has, like I said, a really sheer base to it, but it has a really nice lavender tint to it. So it's kind of like my nails, but better. It's almost like no makeup makeup where you're going to add some just like small perfection to your nails. It's going to kind of create just like a color correctingness to it on that first coat. I will do two coats, but this is going to be a great one for that jelly sandwich manicure I was talking about. So here's a second coat of I Count Even, and then it just adds a beautiful tinge to the nails. So I really like this one. It's going to be great for just kind of like, it could even be used for a French manicure base because it really just makes your nails look natural but just better it's gonna give you that really nice color correction like I said so I'm gonna stop at two coats three coats might even just make it a little deeper but you're not gonna get this one fully opaque but I think that's totally fine because you could do fun jelly sandwich manicures or French manicures their possibilities are endless with a sheer jelly like polish like this one and I don't really have anything like this purpley tinged in my collection so I'm really excited about it this polish is called Ah Ah Amazing, and this is a super fun frosted lavender shade. It has that, like I said, frosted metallic y finish to it, so I'm assuming you're going to want to be careful with your brush strokes. We'll see how self leveling this one is, but especially on that second coat or whatever coat makes this one fully opaque, you just want to make sure your brush strokes look nice and even. A top coat usually can smooth out any of those brush strokey lines you see, but this one is a super fun, shiny polish. Here is the second coat. This one has a really nice formula that's super easy to work with. self leveling is pretty decent, but like I said, you still want to be a little bit careful with those brush strokes, just so it looks nice and even. If you really don't like the look of the brush strokes for your metallic polishes, a really easy way to fix that is painting the polish onto a sponge for your last coat and sponging on that last coat, kind of like you would for an ombre or even like the glitter method, just to eliminate that look. I kind of like this brushed metallic metal look personally on my nails, but it's totally up to you what you prefer. But this one's completely opaque in two coats, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So this is Grover It, and this is another one that I was really excited to swatch because it's a really beautiful, deep, royal blue, jelly base holographic glitter polish. Now this is such a pretty color. I love deep blues like this, and again, in the summer sun, that holographic sparkle is going to be super distracting and really beautiful. So this one kind of has a weird smell to it, but I've noticed that a lot of blue nail polishes do. Uh, it's not anything bad, it's just different than the, what the other polishes smell like. The formula on this one is really amazing. It's super even and it's not streaky at all. It's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous polish. So there's the first coat. So this one also does dry dull, so you will want a really shiny top coat to make that holographic sparkle shine even more so here is the second coat of grover it and this one does cover completely in two coats i'm really obsessed with this one especially you know with fourth of july and i know i keep saying like patriotic holidays but i think it'd be really fun to wear this one in some fourth of july nail art which is coming up very soon so, I mean, let's just, again, take another minute and look at how gorgeous this is. I am absolutely obsessed, and this may have to be my favorite in the collection. This tealish, tealish blue glitter is called Dat Color Dough. 
And this is not a holographic glitter polish. And you can see there isn't a tinted base to this one. It's a clear base with uh, that tealish, turquoise-ish blue and silver glitters. So this one's going to be super fun for nail art. You could even, I mean, it is a little bit uh, dense in glitter to use this one. As a topper, you totally could over a different color. That could be fun. But I bet I can get this one pretty opaque in two to three coats, but I will say this is a super glittery polish, so if you really want the glitter to be super dense, you're going to want to do the sponge method where you just paint the color onto a sponge and sponge it onto your nails. So here is the second coat of that really fun glitter. So this one does get pretty, pretty dense with that second coat. I will show you a third but like I said, doing the sponging technique is really going to give you the most impact density, glitter density wise. This is a super fun polish. Again, in the sun, those glitters are just going to shimmer and sparkle all day. So I love this one. So finally, here is the third coat of that color dough. And I would say that is pretty intense glitter coverage. I really think this would be fun incorporating it into some nail art. So this is a really fun, colorful collection. If you guys would like to see a video of me doing some nail art designs using this entire collection, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments because I would love to do a video like that, but I just want to make sure that it's something you guys would want to see. So let me know. But there is three coats. This polish is called Free to Be Sesame, and I may have to change what my favorite in this collection is because if you guys know me, you know my favorite color is green and I love anything holographic. And this is a green jelly base polish with green and holographic glitters scattered throughout it. And I mean, look at the formula is absolutely incredible. I am so impressed with this entire collection, but this color is just calling to me. I really, really love it. So absolutely amazing formula great first coat super even coverage and i know this will be opaque in two coats so let's just look at that holographic sparkle here is a second coat of free to be sesame like i said i knew this one would be opaque in two coats just based on the other two polishes in the collection that are just like this one which is that jelly base scattered holographic formula this polish is seriously so amazing I know that it's kind of out there with a color, which is super bright green. I love wearing polishes that are kind of crazy like this, like I said, especially in the summer, but you do you. If this isn't, isn't a polish that you would, you know you wouldn't wear, I can understand, but it's absolutely gorgeous, and the holographic sparkle in there is just so beautiful, so I would definitely recommend checking out this entire collection so far. I know we have a few more polishes to swatch, but I already know this collection is really unique and absolutely amazing. This super unique polish is called Trash Can Do Attitude, which is a super funny name. This polish is so unique and really pretty. Like I said, I love green, so this might be out there for some of you traditional polish color wearers, but this is so unique because it's that green metallic -y base but it has that yellowy lime shift to it which is so beautiful the formula is incredible it self levels really nice you don't have to worry about your brush strokes really because it is a super shimmery polish as well and that first coat covered really nicely here is the second coat of trash can do attitude And this one for me is completely opaque in two coats. I do tend to do thinner coats, but if you do thinner coats like me, you might want three coats. I'm I'm not so sure. Maybe, I don't know, but it is really opaque for me. So I really love how unique this one is. Super fun. A lot of nail art ideas come to mind, as well as just some ways to wear this one on its own which is so beautiful in my opinion i love this color this polish is called ernie your stripes and this is a really fun orange jelly base polish with some yellowy gold shimmer in there 
super super pretty again a gorgeous one for summer it just reminds me of some bright sunshine and it's gonna be really fun to wear and incorporate in some nail art excellent first coat it is sheer but it's not streaky or patchy at all so a really great formula here is the second coat of Ernie Your Stripes. And this is pretty much almost completely opaque and covers completely in the second coat. I think I can kind of still see my nail line a little bit, so I am going to do a third coat just to see what it looks like. But I am loving this polish more and more. I think it is so fun and pretty and again I just love shimmery sparkly polishes in the summer just because it the sun just really brings out the sparkle. Here is the third coat of Ernie Your Stripes and this one is completely opaque and true to color in the bottle with three coats. I really really love this one. Again nail art possibilities are endless with this one. It's so beautiful and perfect for the summer season. This gorgeous rosy gold shade is called I Believe in Snuffy and it's so packed full of glitter and shimmer. It's so pretty. I know I keep repeating myself but can you just imagine this one in the sun it would be absolutely gorgeous. This is a really cool almost nude shade but with that sparkle and shimmer, it just really pops on the nail. I can see myself wearing this one a lot because it can be more of like a formal shade. But when it has that sparkle and glitter in there, it does just give that really awesome effect. So here is the second coat of I Believe in Snuffy. And this covers completely in two coats. I really can't get over how surprised I am with this one too because I'm not the biggest fan of pinks and I just this one in the bottle just really wasn't calling to me but it's just one of those things where once you put it on the nail it's like oh my gosh they're really I have I think one polish left yeah one polish left in this collection to swatch but there hasn't been one that I don't like in this collection yet so that's really surprising because usually there's a couple I'm just not really feeling but I really love all of them so there is two coats and it's so beautiful and here is the final shade in this collection this is beak on fleek this is a bright big bird yellow shade this one is a little bit on the sheer side jelly like but again you could do some jelly sandwich action with this polish I will do my best to see how many coats it takes to become completely opaque. But here is the first coat and the formula is pretty decent. So this yellow does dry completely matte. So if you do want it shiny, you'll just need a shiny top coat. And if you want it to last a little bit longer, you could add a matte top coat if you do like the matteness to it. For me personally, a yellow shade like this, I'd probably want it shiny, so I would do a shiny top coat, but totally up to you. So this one does cover pretty decent with two coats, but I can still see my nail line, so I will need a third. Like I said though, I do thin coats, so if you do a little bit thicker, you could probably do two coats and become completely opaque, but it will take longer to dry, and thicker coats don't tend to last as long on the nails, but totally up to you. And here is the third coat of Beak on Fleek. I think I got a little bit too much polish on the brush, but this one does seem to be completely opaque with three coats. And it is a really fun polish. Like I said, if you are kind of into like this fun yellow shade and it does dry matte, it's really unique. I can think of some fun summer nail art ideas with this one. But if I were to wear it on my nails by itself, I probably would want it shiny. That's just my personal preference, but totally up to you but yeah there are three coats so that is it for my live swatch and review video for the sesame street collection from china glaze i really hope you enjoyed this swatch video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below what your favorite shade was i really do have to think it's this green one right here which is called i already forgot free to be sesame i really loved that one and 
just the fact of how, how graphic it is, but I really just love all the shades in the collection. They're super unique and really fun, so be sure to, yeah, let me know in the comments what shades you would be picking up if you want to check out any of these polishes, and let me know if you would like a nail art video using this collection in the future. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so let's see if we can do it. I really hope we can, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!